Welcome back to Post Time. I'm your host, Heather Vitale. It goes without saying that harness racing can be a dangerous sport. Thousand pound animals are traveling at speeds of 30 miles per hour, pulling humans and wheeled vehicles just a couple feet from the ground. Accidents rarely happen, but when they do, both human and horse almost always walk off the track safely. However, recently at Ocean Downs, a mishap occurred that resulted in driver Rick Still going to the hospital and having to undergo knee surgery, which will sideline him for some time. Rick had just returned to driving horses this year after a long hiatus, and a couple weeks ago, obviously before the accident, we had gotten a chance to talk with the Washington, D.C. native who was having great success since his comeback. Although Rick has lots of resting up to do right now, we still wanted to share our interview with the fans, and this is our way of sending out speedy recovery wishes to Rick Still, who fell in love with harness racing at an early age. Oh, I was 11, and I used to go to track with my parents a lot, and uh, my dad would take me down. I was one of those kids that would hang on the fence, get whips, goggles, stuff like that, and I met a trainer, Chuck Christman Jr., and he kind of got me started in the business. Rick drove until 2008, but then decided to pursue another career. Although he didn't actually sit in a race bike for nearly a decade, the 46-year-old still yearned to drive during those 10 years. And Rick gives his brother Bill a ton of credit for getting him back to the track in 2017. I got out of the racing in, um, yeah, in 2008 and went to work in a car dealership. A uh, gentleman, a good friend of mine, Tom Weingartner, he owns a car dealership, uh, several car dealerships in Maryland. So I went to work for him, uh, sales and then sales manager, stuff like that over the course of that time. Never lost the feeling. <laughs> I was I was eager to get back and, and I think the timing was right. So just, just picked up where I left off. My brother Bill Still, he's he's the man. He you know, he he's my number one fan. I always call him my agent because when I see a sheet or a draw, he's always calling trainers and stuff trying to get me drive. So, you know, I, I, I enjoy it as much as he does and I know he enjoys it seeing me back and, and that's that's the pleasure of a lot too, being able to experience it with him and uh, you know, hanging out with my brother again here at the track. Despite the time away from driving, Rick said it felt just as natural as it always had, throwing those black and white colors back on. But what about his driving style? Did he have to make any adjustments for that? No, not necessarily. I mean, more, more you know, just strategic, uh, different track now that we're here, you know, at Ocean Downs compared to the 5 8 mile track. Um, kind of like, it seems funny that sometimes they kind of dictate the race for you, you know, drive the race for you, just be patient. Put yourself in a good spot, and, you know, it seems to work out. So things have changed, you know, different types of drivers now, more speed drivers, stuff like that. But as soon as I got on the bike, first, the first qualifier I think I drove, I was comfortable. I felt like I never missed a beat, so I felt good. During that decade as a spectator, is there one thing Rick missed most about sitting in the sulky? Uh, just the whole experience. You know, winning races, obviously, is, is the best part of what, you know, what we do. But um, just being around the people, you know, and, and this was what I've always wanted to do. So that's the part that I missed. And now that I'm back, I'm, I'm just glad to be back. And I think you could tell by the smile on my face. <laughs> it just feels real good. Like I said, I've been out for so long and, you know, never stopped watching my brother Bill. He, you know, he's in it uh, very active and, you know, keeping an eye on him and, and watching the horses. That itch was always there, you know. So, like I said, time had just worked out. Glad to be back. Let's top off the show with a race that results in seeing a Rick Still in victory lane. He's on number four, Eskimo Joe, who goes behind the gate at the casino at Ocean Downs vying in this group of eight conditioned trotters. They're off and trotting for mid-pack Eskimo Joe, uh, rushes out towards the front. Skyway Press tries to protect the pocket, sliding to the inside, Tiger's too good, comes away in third. At the pylons, Swan Animus has the four spot early, but rushing up and around comes Star Hit. And rough gated there went Swan Animus off stride. Trying to avoid the breaker is a dandy strike. Caught three wide there with CHF shooting Star. And the trailer as they straighten up down the back stretch after the break with Swan Animus. They trot to the opening quarter in 29 and 2. Head into turn two, and with a rush to the front, Eskimo Joe takes his spot on the front, and it's one. Skyway Priss in a pocket second. Another two back. The Tigers too good in third. Still marching up on the outside is CHF shooting star. Toward his inside flank is star hit. On the move, the rim is speeded up Hanover. 
toward his inside flank as they bend around the turn and pass in front of us is a dandy strike. And after a miscue, swan and a miss. They're about a half and 59 and four. Head around the paddock turn for the final time, and Eskimo Joe continues to call the shots, a length the best of pocket-sitting Skyway Press. Long mile on the outside for CHF shooting star and Joe Fellows. Towards the inside, Tigers too good. Pinned in at the rail is star hit to his outside flank. Speeded up Hanover, ready to roll three wide, and there he goes. Down towards the inside, a dandy strike, and at the end, Swan and a miss. By five eights and approach three quarters. Eskimo Joe on the point. The lead one. Skyway Priss is pocketed second. Moving on the outside is speeded up Hanover. Three quarters up in 129 and two. So Eskimo Joe has had it most of the way and he's got it a length. Skyway Priss ready to roll from the pocket and Wolfenden tugs on the right line and here she comes. Eskimo Joe along the inside digs in. Skyway Priss from the pocket. Eskimo Joe. Skyway Priss. Eskimo Joe. Skyway Priss. Eskimo Joe, Skyway Press, they are noses apart. Eskimo Joe goes from gate to wire to hang on for the win with driver Rick Still in the bike. Trained by Scott Gregoire and owned by Henry Wilson, the five-year-old trotter crossed the finish line in 159-2. Skyway Press was just a nose back for second and the show money went to Tigers Too Good. As we mentioned earlier, driver Rick Still is recovering from knee surgery. So sincere get well wishes go out to Rick from all of us at post time.